Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sparkle here, and today we have a hundred subscribers special drawing. Honestly, I cannot believe that we've already hit more than a hundred subscribers. It happened so fast, and I'm so grateful. Thank you guys so so much. Now, like I did say in my last video, I know that I have crossed a hundred, but I did want to make this special video nevertheless because it just happened so fast, and I was planning out this video for a long time, and I did want to make it so. I just went for it and in simple I'm drawing these helium balloons that resemble the number 100 and something that I did do today was I flipped to the last page of my sketchbook I mean it's not really the last page it's kind of like the backboard of my sketchbook and I decided to do my drawing on there because a lot of artists that I've seen have recommended to try drawing on a tone surface or a tone paper if you're going for realism and I was trying to go for realism here so I did do that, but while I was trying to be realistic, I think there are definitely areas where I do need to improve, but I still call this progress. By the way, when I was making this drawing, I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing because I didn't watch any tutorials, I kind of just had a reference image up and I pretty much winged it because I drew exactly what I saw on the screen. And in the end, I think it turned out alright. Alright, now you might have noticed that today's video is on the shorter side and that is pretty much because you guys seem to engage more with my shorter videos so I did make this one a tad bit shorter. But anyways, when I was coloring in the balloons, for pretty much all the balloons, what I did was I started by establishing where the dark tones, mid tones and light tones would be and then I took a white pencil and a purple pencil to add these crinkles and highlights. And this was my favorite part because firstly, it was so much fun and stress-free. And secondly, it just brought the drawing together because adding those is what made the numbers look like helium balloons. And then of course, I took my lead extender, my pencil lead extender, and a blending stump to add a shadow behind each of the balloons. And then I took a white gel pen to outline them all and make them really pop. And of course, thank you all so so much again for 100 subscribers! Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to find more amazing art videos. Other than that, have a fabulous day, stay awesome as always, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys! Bye.